Lynchburg's fastest growing commercial corridor is also the site of the city's most dangerous intersection. In fact, nearly 30,000 cars drive along Ward's Road every day. And that's where we find WSLS 10's Rob Manchies continuing our coverage on the most dangerous intersections in our region. So, Rob, what, what has the city done to accommodate all that traffic? Well, yeah, it's a tricky situation. Wards Road extends into Campbell County and acts as both a throughway and as the only entrance to dozens of businesses that have chosen to locate here. Now, I spoke with the city, VDOT, and people who live here, and they say the solution may not be in making changes to Wards Road itself, but rather to making improvements to some of the cross streets like Atlanta Avenue that I'm standing on right now. Wards Road has become the beating heart of Lynchburg's commercial business scene. Day and night, the road is packed with cars, something Lewis Preston, who lives on one of the crossroads called Atlanta Avenue, is very familiar with. You can hear cars going up and down the hill during the night, just flying. Police say all that traffic is adding up to a lot of crashes, more than 120 in the past three years, sending 14 people to the hospital. It's rush hour right now on Ward's Road, and as you can see, traffic is bumper to bumper. Police say it's situations like this, coupled with distracted driving, that have caused the majority of crashes over the last three years. But many of the collisions are rear-end type collisions. Very low speed, uh, very low mechanism of injury for the occupants, but it's still a crash, we still have to respond. Lieutenant Anthony Martin says at this point, there's very little that police can do to stop it. We've tried um, speed reduction type projects out there. The issue with that is, it's really not a speeding issue that's causing the crashes. Meanwhile, that backed up traffic is causing drivers to cut through Preston's neighborhood. People get cut off and almost hit, and I have seen people down here that have been hit before. VDOT has just completed a study of the 29 corridor in Campbell County and determined, at least for now, the road shouldn't be altered. Just widening a road does not necessarily f fix the issues. A lot of times that can create more problems. And understanding our funding streams and where we're at, it was realistic to acknowledge that access management was going to be one of the um, alternatives that we were looking at from a design perspective. Access management means looking at the side roads like Atlanta Avenue. The city of Lynchburg worked with VDOT to spend more than $24,000 on another study there. The result? A proposed roundabout in front of the shopping center. We do anticipate the change in traffic pattern with the mini roundabout should slow traffic down because you need to yield when you're coming up to the mini roundabout. That roundabout would cost around $200,000 and city transportation engineer Maggie Cosman says the plan is to begin construction this summer. Other plans include widening another crossroad, Ward's Ferry. Martin says he has hopes that those changes will reduce the amount of calls his officers respond to, but in the meantime, he has a message to drivers. Drivers must pay attention, even more so in heavy traffic, because cars are extremely close together during that. And if your attention is diverted anywhere else, the likelihood of you running into the car in front of you is pretty high. Now, the Region 2000 Local Government Council has actually launched an online traffic survey for, the, for Lynchburg and its surrounding counties. If you know about an intersection that's a specific risk to drivers, you can tell them about it by following the link on our website at WSLS.com. In Lynchburg, Rob Manch, WSLS 10. Oh, thank you, Rob. So, so far, we've looked at the most dangerous intersections in Southside, Roanoke County, and Lynchburg. And tomorrow, we continue our coverage in Roanoke.